Hello everyone and welcome to this milestone presentation on what's new in SPTNG step 2.1. Today I'm going to talk about the steady rest. We've made some cool improvements in the steady rest cycle to make it more user friendly and, and really straightforward. So we will see that in just a moment in 2S3. So here I have a part that I want to program and okay, so some machining have already been created on this part. But as you can see, this part is very long. So I want to add support to this part. And for that, I will use some steady rest. So first thing I want to do is I want to go to my machine setup. And here I will need to add some steady rest. In order to do that, here on the top side, you can see that you have a mount option and you can choose to mount a steady rest. So that's what we are going to do right now. So I'm clicking mount steady rest and then I'm going to choose my steady rest here from my list of uh, fixtures. So I'm going to choose that one, click on open and then we can see the steady rest appearing on the screen. So first thing I want to show you here is that we can choose the position where we want to mount the steady rest. So obviously it means that your machine needs to have several steady rest uh, adapter position. Here we have four different ones. So I could choose any one of these four positions to mount it in. So right now I'm going to mount um, it in the first position here. And you could then translate or rotate it, which is not what I want to do right now. So I'm just going to validate. Okay, so I get my first steady rest, but of course here my part is so long that I want to add more and more steady rest, so I'm going to use them all. So to do that, I'm going to right click, copy, and then I'm going to select my machine and I'm going to right click, paste, and you can see here I can choose where I want to paste this steady rest on. So I'm going to choose this three other position because I already did this one, and I'm going to apply. Okay, so I get my four steady rest in the four location I want to use them. So now I'm just going to rename them so that it makes more sense. Starting from the left here, this one is going to be number one, number two. Then number three and number four are switched because on my machine, that's how they are done. So I'm just going to go there and exchange them. Okay, so now everything should be in order. One, two, three, and four. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to validate. Okay, so now at this point I have added all my steady rest to my machine, so I'm just going to have to add the steady rest cycle to actually position them in the correct place. So I obviously I want to add them at the start of the program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the first operation and choose insert location. That means that now my programming are going to appear in this location. So I'm then I'm going to the turning and then I'm going to add the steady rest cycle. Okay, so steady rest cycle. So here, first thing I want to show you is that obviously we can choose between two steady rest because I have two steady rest mounted on my machine with each one of them having um, uh, two clamps. Okay, so I'm going to, to choose the, f the steady rest one now. And I'm going to delete all of that. And now, how does this cycle work? Well, you just have to add manually what you want to do. So here we are going to add an item and here we can see we have a possibility of adding several items. So rapid or feed move is to position your um, your steady rest um, where you want on, on the bar. Then clamp and unclamp are pretty obvious. Then you can add, change the speed of speed or add a dwell or a stop code. Or you could uh, move or off or to center. So that's the first thing I want to do here is I want to move my steady rest to center to be actually to actually be able to clamp on the part and then I'm going to clamp and when you, you choose uh, clamping you can see because I have two fixtures on this steady rest I can choose which one I want to, to clamp. So here I'm going to clamp the first one and immediately after I'm going to clamp the second one and I'm going to validate. And then I want to do the same for the second one. So I'm going to add another steady rest cycle. But here I want to change for my second steady rest. And then obviously I want to change the clamping. So if it's going to be fixture 3 and fixture 4. Okay, it's already automatically changed. 
And one thing though here is that you can see my second steady rest is not currently in the proper position here on that bar, so I will need to move it to the proper location. So I will need to add a rapid move here. Oops. Okay. Okay, so I'm just moving my steady rest to the proper location. And then, obviously, I want to do that first, so I'm just going to move this action first. So it means that I'm going to move, then I'm going to engage the steady rest, and then clamp the two fixtures. Okay, so let's close this insert location and see how it works in simulation right now. Okay, so we can see that the steady rest is moving into position, then we clamp the first one, then we clamp the second one. And then for the second steady rest, okay, we're moving to the position, then we are going, we are moving to the center, and then we are clamping the first one and the second one. Okay, and then we have the machining. Okay, so that's fine. Now, one thing is that if, if we go through my machining, you will see that this operation and this operation are actually going to go over these two fixtures here. So obviously, I don't want to machine there while my, my uh, steady rest is clamped at this location, so I will need to open that. So in order to do that, I will go here, and, and before this operation, I need to open the last steady rest, so I, I'm going to do right-click, insert location, and at this place, I want to add a steady rest. So there, I'm going to delete all of that. I want this to ha be happening on the steady rest number two. And I want to unclamp the last one, which is number four. Okay, so I can close my insert location. And then I want to do the same thing for the next operation, but with the other fixture. So then on this one, I want to unclamp number three. And I can clamp number four back. OK, so I'm going to close my insert location. And let's go back to simulation to see what's actually happening So from that point. OK, so we finished machining um, here. But now we are going to machine here. And obviously, here it's clamped. So I don't want to, to machine while it's clamped. So we are going to unclamp first. OK, so we unclamp this. Then we have the machining. I'm going to speed that up a little bit. Okay, and then as you can see, we unclamp this one and we clamp that one, and then we continue with the machining. Okay, and then we could clamp it back again after. So that's up to you. Okay, so that was all for this milestone presentation on the steady rest. I hope you enjoyed it. I personally, I found it very easy to use and very user friendly. If you have any question, don't hesitate to contact us. We will be more than happy to help you. Thank you.